good to find out what he does when he goes home or where he lives and some people from his past, what he did before he was actually uh, Nick Fury or he had super friends, uh, the ordinary friends that he had. So you learn different things. Well, it's a very grounded series. There are really no superheroes in it. It's the Nick Fury story and he can't fly and he can't punch like a superhero can punch. So it's a very grounded political thriller that I think brings um, a darkness and I think higher stakes in a way because what's at stake is Earth, the Earth that we know is home, which is very different for a, a Marvel series. I gotta tell you, MCU is a very, very foreign place to, um, to, uh, to labor away. It's a very, very foreign place to work. Very, very foreign place to work. Um, I think the connection with the fans, I think, you know, Brian and Louie and co, they're evil scheming geniuses, you know? Well, I think the cool thing about Marvel now is they're doing these series, so you get to um, see sides of the characters they didn't have time for in the films. And I think that's very evident in terms of Nick Fury, who is such a mysterious character, and we're really getting to see, like, some of his emotions, some of his backstory. Um, seeing the relationships between him and, and, and Maria Hill and Rhodey and all these different characters that they've been in scenes together, but we're really getting to see them in a different setting, a more intimate setting. I mean, just right off the bat, we meet Rhodey in a very different role. He's much more political than we've seen him in the past. Um, the soldier is still there, but he's actually acting more as a politician. He's sort of the president's right-hand man. But uh, as 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 Marvel goes, you know, things are gonna. There's gonna be a big journey on this one, and roles will change, and it's just gonna be really interesting. I would say it's one of the most grounded shows that they've ever made, which is wonderful because then people like my mum, who's never seen any other Marvel, will like get it. But that there's enough in there for the fans to grab onto and enjoy and kind of hopefully be happy with how the interpretation of what we've done um, but it is oh it's just good on every level you like you tick all the boxes the story is excellent the characters are wonderful and Sam and Ben together is just you get to see them together all the time and it's like every one of their scenes is just magic after every marvel release i phone my agent going please can i be in a marvel it's the biggest carpet apart from the oscars i've ever seen and i've never seen a fan base who makes such an effort it's amazing a couple of the producers who I spoke to originally, like really, really early on, uh, lots of the conversations were just about the style of the show and the story and how they wanted to try and create something different. Because when my feeling was like, why are you guys coming to me for this part? Like, what is it? Like, I've never, uh, you know, I've never played anyone as kind of dark or... Uh, so we just spent a long time talking about the story and what their intentions were. And like that's what really sold it for me. All of the Marvel films and, and series sort of find their own path and find their own tone, and it felt like a cool, grounded spy thriller was just the right lane for Secret Invasion to live in. And when you add Nick Fury on top of that, and you add the Scroll Invasion on top of that, and this amazing cast, it really becomes something really unique and cool. Gosh, everybody put so much effort and uh, and a lot of heart into making this show. I had most of my scenes with Samuel L. Jackson and with Don Cheadle. So I'm so blessed to be here and to work with them. Samuel, I didn't know very well, but we became a little bit friendly. Don, I've known for years and years, so uh, amazing to uh, be in their company here in Secret Invasion. It's incredibly satisfying because we spent a long time filming this thing and it was a really wonderful shoot. The cast got on great. We have a wonderful director in Ali Salim. And I just think what I think what the writers and Ali and the Marvel team have done with this one is quite sort of unique and it's very dark and I think there's a lot of surprises in it. And there's a lot, there's a lot in this that is going to unfold. Um, I think the, the social media sort of um, hints the Secret Invasion have been quite interesting. I've been following it. Um, but I think 
This is definitely different to the other Marvel Studio projects. Um, it's an espionage thriller. So uh, I think people will really enjoy this. What I loved about it when I was reading the scripts was it, it felt like a bit more like a spy sort of thriller. You didn't really know what to... It just, it just made you feel a little bit more on the edge of your seat. Um, and that's exciting.